Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You had some time off from school, that's always nice. Well, I missed you, but here I am and I've got another Bible story for us to read together. Do you remember what was going on last time we saw one another? I was out in the desert and I was wandering around and it reminded me of the story of all of the people who were set free from Egypt, but they had to spend years and years in the desert and they wandered and then they grumbled about the food, but through it all, God took care of them. We're still in that time and we're gonna read a story today called A Good Man makes a mistake. And can you see? We've got, it looks like a bunch of people together. Oh, that's right, they're still wandering in the desert. A camel. Let's read this together. We're still talking about Moses. Moses tried to be a good leader. He carefully followed God's instructions. He helped the people remember all of God's rules. Remember those 10 commandments? When the Israelites grumbled, he tried to be patient, but Moses didn't always succeed. The Israelites could not find any water in the desert. Hmm, we know that to be true. Once again, the people forgot how God had provided for them throughout their journey. These are very forgetful people, aren't they? And they sure like to grumble. Ah, uh, they fussed and complained. They blamed Moses and they said, we will die in the desert if you don't find us water. We should have stayed in Egypt. Wow, can you believe that? Do you remember when they were living in Egypt? Were they free? No, they were not free. They were slaves. And even the Pharaoh would not let them free. Even after God sent so many plagues, the Pharaoh was hard hearted and he wouldn't let them free, but they did escape with the help of God and Moses. Well, let's see what's next. Wow, this is pretty. Looks like a lot of water. Let's see if God provides for his people again. Moses listened. Then as always, he went to God. He asked God to provide water for the people. God answered his prayer. He said, gather the people around. Take your walking stick and go to the rock that I show you. Talk to the rock and the water will flow. Wow. Moses and his brother Aaron are gathering the people together and they're all griping and complaining. Moses became angry and he lost his temper. He shouted at the people for not trusting God. And then Moses smacked the rock. Ooh. He smacked the rock twice with his stick and immediately the water did gush out of the rock, enough for the whole people and all of the animals. The people received what they needed, but Moses was punished for his actions. Moses disobeyed God. Hmm and hadn't given God the credit for the miracle that he provided. And God said, 
because you did not believe in me and because you did not honor me as holy before the people, you will not lead them into the land that I give them. Wow, that is a pretty severe punishment. Moses led the people out of Egypt and God helped him all along the way. And now just as they're about to get to that beautiful land God promised them, because of Moses, his mistake, he will not be allowed to go into the land. That's a big punishment. Moses remained the leader of the people of Israel, but because of his mistake, his leadership ended at the edge of the promised land. Wow, that's a hard lesson to learn. Have you ever been punished for something you did? Maybe your parents told you to do something and you didn't do it or you forgot. Or maybe you just disobeyed them. And when they found out, they were upset with you. They don't understand why are you not following their direction? Don't you trust that they know what's best? They're looking out for you. And because you disobeyed, maybe you had a punishment. Like you were sent to your room. Maybe you had to miss dinner with a family. Mm, or maybe you weren't allowed to go play with your friends that weekend. Did you learn a lesson from when you were punished? Do you think that maybe next time when your parents ask you to do something, you will remember and you will say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, and do what they ask because they love you? This is a very similar story to that. God loved his people so, so much, yet they kept grumbling and kept disobeying. And even poor Moses, who was trying so hard, he made a mistake and he lost his temper. Hmm. Losing our temper can make us make mistakes. It's a good idea to keep hold of our temper, to remain calm and patient, and maybe when we get upset, breathe and count to five before we act out. And like Moses did, he smacked that rock with his stick. He was angry. Now Moses can't get into the promised land. Let's see what God's message is for us today. God says, I have cared for you since the day you left Egypt. I have provided your food and quenched your thirst. I have protected you from all threat of danger, but still I yearn for your trust, your love. How long must I wait? Sounds like God is very sad. He is sad that his people, still after all he's done for them, don't seem to trust him. That must be very, very hard for God. So that is our lesson for today. That is absolutely a lesson that we need to learn from today. Maybe we really need to be appreciative of all the things we have. We just had Thanksgiving where we said thanks for all the things we've been given. We should be thankful for our families and our friends and for the food on our table. And God has provided for all of us. So let us remember to be appreciative. No grumbling, no complaining. Let's remember to follow the direction of our parents when they ask us to do something. We will do it and we won't disobey and we will know they are asking us to do these things because they love us. Even sometimes we don't understand why, why do we have to clean our room? 
Well, your parents are teaching you good habits for the future. So your parents love you very much and your grandparents. And so we need to be thankful and appreciative and appreciative for God. God has given us these parents and he's given us so much. All right, that's enough for today. I look forward to seeing you again and to see what story we have next. I wonder if we're going to talk about Moses anymore. Or maybe it'll be about when they go into the promised land. I wonder what will happen next. Hmm. Well, for now, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Let's see. I, Christina and Braden, how about you two lead us in the Lord's Prayer today? Okay, here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 